Hey guys, it's Rob here. Today we're going over the first area in Canada I'm covering, Edmonton, Canada. While not the most interesting or unique area I've covered, there are three locations to cover, one of which was a piece of time theater, and also being in Canada, I think this will be interesting enough. I have to give a huge thanks to CEC Edmonton for requesting this area, and also helping me out with pretty much the entirety of the info for this video, including the videos and pictures. As usual, I've gathered information from multiple different sources, which I'll be linking in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as in the next video, I'll be going over a location which I recently visited that is quite unique in the present day. Anyways, let's get into the history of Chuck E. Cheese in Edmonton, Canada. The 92713 34th Avenue location opened in November of 1985 as the Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater. This was the second to last store to open with a balcony stage, but also the second to last store to open as a pizza time theater. Other than these things, though, we don't really know much else about the store during this time, except that they would have opened with Helen, seeing as the guest stars were phased out by this point. That and the fact that the Chuck Walk Around apparently appeared in a parade in October of 1987. Footage from 1992 shows off the showroom area, where we see that they had received the 1988 remodel by this point, seeing as the walls are painted white here and there's colored checkers on the walls. We don't see it in this footage, but they also likely would have gotten a new exterior, one that likely would have had this logo on it. The most interesting thing here, however, is the fact that the store still had its balcony stage, as well as the waving flags and clapperboard. The only animatronic not present are the warblets. This makes it one of, if not the last balcony stage, to have still existed in a store by this point, as all the others would have been turned into a sea stage, rocker stage, road stage, or two stage by this point. The bots seem to be in good shape, though there's not a lot of good footage, so I can't tell for sure if there's any issues or not. We also get to see their walk around during this time, that being the mid to late 80s Chuck, with the red derby hat and red vest. In 1993, this location would receive the two stage, replacing the balcony stage they had, and causing the balcony stage to go extinct in stores. A newspaper ad from the time proves this, talking about a new show. We see this in footage that shows off some of the store, including the salad bar, the ball pit, a few of their games, and this brief shot of the showroom, showing that they'd gone a two-stage by this point. Also notable is the addition of showroom walls, which weren't present before at this location. We also see their walk-around during this time, that being the 90s Chuck head with the Tux tire. The store likely stayed the same until 1995, when it would close for unknown reasons. We don't know what happened to the location between 1995 and 2008, but by May of 2009, the location had turned into a dental optometry place, which is what it still is as of today. As for the bots, there's a rumor that they were sent to Guatemala City to be used there, but there's no proof for that. The 1983 19th Avenue location opened on July 21st, 2003 as a Chuck E. Cheese's. They opened with a Studio C Beta, the 16 movement version. They also opened with the major 90s remodel, as can be seen by an exterior photo from 2007, and also can be seen by the earliest footage we have of the location from 2008, showing one of the major 90s remodel art pieces. We also get to see Chuck here, who isn't moving because there's a live show happening, so I can't assess his condition. We do see that he was still wearing full Cool Chuck attire by this point, including the cap. Their walk around at the time was the usual Avenger Chuck one. There's also this photo of their walk around with purple shorts for some reason, which isn't something I've ever seen a location do for their walk around. Footage from 2010 shows the bot performing, where it seems to be fully working. In December of 2012, the location were remodeled to the 2010 update to the 2003 Cool Chuck reconfiguration, moving all of the 90s artwork and changing the exterior a bit, replacing the letters of the logo and also adding the checkers behind the logo. The walls would also be painted purple, and new decor was added. They also got the newer blue and red booths. Chuck would also keep his Cool Chuck outfit up until late 2013, when it would be replaced with Avenger Chuck attire, though without the cap. There's also a photo that appears to show the bot with a broken pin, as his head is turned more than it should be. There's also a store tour from 2017, where we see that they did keep a piece of art from the major 90s remodel. Other than that, it just shows the store with the standard 2003 remodel, so let's move on. Another video from 2017 shows the bot performing, where it seems to still be fully functional. Between late 2017 and early 2018, the Avenger Chuck outfit would be replaced with a full Rockstar outfit. By 2020, the Sky Tubes and Toddler Zone were removed, and as of today, the location remains like this. The red and yellow awnings would be removed by 2021, though the exterior still sports the major 90s remodel Cool Chuck look, aside from that, and the checkers. 
Studio Seabot also no longer performs due to the 2022 shutdown of programming on them. There is not a confirmed date as to when the store will receive 2.0, though there is a rumor that it might be this September, so we'll just have to wait and see. The 14245 137th Avenue location opened on October 18th, 2005 as a Chuck E. Cheese's. They opened with a 2005 update to the 2003 Cool Chuck reconfiguration, and had a 16 movement Studio C upon opening, which they still have to this day. The earliest footage we have of the store comes from late 2008, where the showroom is shown off. We see the rock around as the usual Avenger Chuck one, and the bot has full Cool Chuck attire on, and seems to work well with what little bit we can see of him moving in this footage. We also have a photo of the exterior from Google Maps, showing the Avenger Chuck exterior. Chuck would receive full Avenger attire by 2010, replacing the Cool Chuck attire. The taller zone would be removed by 2011. Aside from that, not much has changed about the store. The bot seemed to remain in good shape throughout the rest of its run time before it stopped being programmed in 2022, and the only other notable things that are seen are that the sky tubes would be gone by 2020, and the old exterior sign would be blown off by a storm, being replaced with a reproduction in 2022. Currently, the 2.0 remodel date for this location is unknown. In conclusion, Edmonton may not be the most interesting area with Chuck E. Cheese's in all of Canada, but it did house one of the last balcony stages to be installed and the last one to exist in a store, which I think alone makes this area at least somewhat interesting. Overall, the first location was definitely the most interesting one, with the latter being not as interesting. Thank you guys for watching this video. I wasn't actually aware that Edmonton was home to the last balcony stage to exist in a store, so it was cool to be able to cover the area that housed the last one. The next video is going to be going over Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which has one location in particular that I've gone to and found quite unique. If you'd like to see that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're notified when it drops. God bless, and I hope you all have a blessed day.